When I do poem jazz with my own poems, I think of it as a conversation. Lawrence Hubgood, Stan Strickland, John Lockwood, the musicians I'm working with, are listening to one another and to me. When I was trying to be a jazz player in my youth, I remember that kind of listening. You're thinking about what you're going to do and you're thinking about what the others are doing. Those musicians are also listening to my voice and I'm listening to them and I think of it as a conversation between the melody of the poem and the melody of the music. It is in fact pretty much exactly like rap except it's a different musical idiom and it's a different idiom of language. Ben Jonson's poem, Let It Not Your Wonder Move, Less Your Laughter That I Love, that melody, that tune, I'm performing it listening to what the musicians have to quote say, end quote, about it. And they're listening to my phrasing of Ben Jonson's melody that he wrote a couple of hundred years ago, more. That is a complicated conversation in the way that improvised music, which in a way is all music, good classical players are always changing what they do a bit in relation to what they hear, think, feel. That conversation is an essential part of art. And in some ways, hearing the conversation between the music of the poem and the music of the musicians, I hope clarifies both.